Spotlight Gaming with Asban, the controversial gamer who had who's been under debate recently on the Tech Nine. And with me tonight we have Pansy. Pansy, how are you doing? Not too bad, thank you very much, Machine. How are you feeling tonight? Ah, uh, I'm great. I'm kind of chilled, you know. Still on the uh, on the holiday from uni, so just relaxing, maxing, and casting. I like it. Yes, indeed. And obviously, I think there's some serious knife strats going on. As we said, I haven't seen a single knife kill. As finally, Rage picking up some frags. I say, I, I, I've not once have I been really excited by a knife round. Has there any been, have ever been, you know, an epiphany for you? In um, knife one rounds? funny moment. Uh, Kex got landed, decided to bait his whole team as usual, uh, put himself onto the top of the B arch of this map, and then did I do believe get a three man from him in a very mad uh, Batman <laughs> style, flying down, does get the knife. It was very impressive, but it made absolutely no odds. I believe we would have won that game regardless. So, oh, okay. Yeah, no. Fun so, times. So a small moment in the knifing world. Yeah, but a cool. moment nevertheless. Um, so I believe this is the semi-finals now of the Zawix Low Challenge. Now. Yep. I'm very much aware of Rage. I've, you know, watched a couple of the games. I know a few of the players, but SLG, I'm not so up on. Could you give me a little bit of an insight you, into any of the players? I certainly can. Well, I really have been following them, not you know with an eagle eye, but I have been kind of j j jumping on on their gameplays and various other threads and stuff, kind of keeping my eye on them because I really I can't help but think that their, their lineup, especially with recent pickup of uh, Sekuel, is really it's a strong one, and they've got some great results with even with the recent result against uh, PMP X Ox Enemax. The Italian stallions, and uh, with with a win under their belt against them, and that caused some a lot of cheating allegations. So obviously, you know, I think Rage definitely know they've got a bit of a bit of a challenge for them tonight. I don't think they're really going to be sitting on their laurels and kind of, you know, not trying their hearts out because I think there's definitely real tough competition at this stage. Yeah, indeed. But Rage do seem the side to let it get a little bit too close. We saw a double overtime on the last map we uh, casted of them, which is quite unlike them. But why don't you take us away into the first round, as you've been missing for so long from casting, and you oh, really want to do it. Alright then, well I'm going to go with Shia, a popular scope, who's really been, this team has given a lot of players that their time to shine, really. I think a lot of people, t t players with potential, kind of finally found their real, a real platform to perform with this uh, skill -like team, Aslan and Shia being the two main ones here, as Nighty f opens up the fray with a frag to Cetaz. One man down now for Skitlight. -like. As Bounty is put on the aggression through Market, going to stop Sekou in his tracks after picking up the frag to Nighty with two. Nice play from him, that's Market cleared as he progresses towards car park. Last two players are in there for Skitlight. -like. He's going to come around with that AK, he's got the range advantage, hoping not to be caught out with by those red barrels. He gets the tag, not the frag though, as he's going to push with the SMG. This could go really well, spray with the SMG, Shia with a no scope to end that. As Katana does return onto Aslan and now Shia got a 1v3 on his plate and in a pretty tough situation to do so. Does have the bomb. That's really quite a small <laughs> prize to pay. And now that was a nice frag onto Katana, opening up A just that little bit. Well aware of that possibility of a push from behind. And Ace is providing that push happily. She needs to look behind. Guys, oh, going to go down. Wasn't really timing it perfectly as we see the first round go to Rage. Yeah, and I, I'm expecting a lot from Rage. They've, they've been, you know, letting the games get a little bit too close, I'd say. So let's follow Cetaz here, as you've been telling me, is quite the player. With the SMG to clutch. Let's see what he can do. Pushing straight through mid. Very confident. Does get tagged up from the spam, though but doesn't manage to fall. So you can see him worming his way towards the A-arch. Will he uh, spot the player he does? And that's Nighty down and out. And now he has complete control of the mid-market. Very well played from him, and you have truly uh, given me a good one to watch it. So drops a nade out to be just to help his teammates out, because they are going for kind of a bit of a slow B push. But let's see if he can get another pick. There's just one round to the corner on right here. Does get the tag on the frag. Oh, oh my day! If he gets either of these, he's deserving them. That's some sublime aim there. But didn't manage to land the frags onto the rage side. So now they're very much aware of his position. And there you can see his teammate diving around. There is Seki with the SMG. Picks up the double frag onto Miles and Ace. And this is an absolutely fantastic round for them. But can they close it out with the bomb going down? Cetas now has to hold the push from behind. Does get tagged up for a arch. And that is Bounty. Got to switch across to him as he has got a lot of work to do with Katana at his Whoa. side. Can they bring this round back? With the clock now taking 40 seconds there. And there's three players to find. You see Katana getting tagged up at the top of the street. And the player at fences and now the tags come towards Bounty. As they are fully aware of the where the Rage Boys are sitting. So now Bounty's trying to switch it up a bit. And Sekiu will pick up the frag onto Katana there. And now Bounty has a mountain to climb. Picks up the first though onto Riku. Can he get the second? Tagging up Sekou with an inch of his life left. This is looking possible if he uh, puts a little bit of pace on it. 15 seconds on the board. He's got to be quick now. Dives around. Can he get the frag? Oh, no, he can't. Dang. Zazlan will pick up that frag. Very well played from him. Just sitting back and being very cautious. And just closing it out. Very well played there. Really well played. Yes, indeed. And I think these Skitlight SMGs were doing a great job there. Just unfortunate, really, to not see that round go their way. Oh, sorry. No. Yeah, it did go their way. I'm 
talking mm -hmm. absolute rubbish. Anyway, I'm going to go with Zeku this round just because, I mean, he is a really, he's an SMG to watch purely because he's absolutely hyperactive. You never see this guy not moving. Constantly, he's, he's either bobbing up and down, changing weapons. This guy does not stand still for anybody. Even in death, he's sat there fidgeting. As we do have 5v4, Shuya brings it back to 4v4 with the frag onto Katana. All, constantly battling with Katana on A's. Seku opens up A arch as well. This is looking like a confident A plant from Skit. Like Shuya with another to confirm it as Miles goes down. Scope down for now. And now Seku with that job of just holding top street. And he should do this with ease. I tell a lie, Ace just pops him under the car. And now Ace really with a massive job. Tall order for quite a lowly AK. Not going to happen. Shuya with another frag. Shuya just decimating A there. Followed by Seku, both sat comfortably on the five frags. And that's 2-1 round to Skitlight. I was so impressed at how well they took A then. We've seen them go B a couple of times. We've seen the mid pushes. I am pulling C Taz, just so you know, and he did run into a wall then, very smooth. But they, they did A so well. They look so fluent and so confident. So now they've kind of gone for a bit of a slow A. Bomb work its way towards there, and there has seen that smoke come up mid from the rage side. So they can assume this player's pushed forward. So Cetus has to run out here and pick up a couple of frags there, and he does exactly that. First one onto 90. Taking a few kills onto the scoreboard for him. But Miles finally stepping up and does take down Shuya. Can Cetus get the second? Yes, he can. Phenomenal knowledge there. He must have heard him or seen him, because I don't know where he'd have guessed that from. So that's working his way out to B. Can he spot the player at the top of the street? He does now see the scope there. He's got to be cautious. And his teammates help him out the smoke now, coming out towards B to help them get on the site. Cetas feeling very confident, flinging himself on top of the archer. Seku to cure the frag on Katana. And now Miles in a very bad situation. And it just got worse as Cetas dived up there. Three to one. I have never seen a side look so confident and so versatile. Indeed. Well, this exactly. Map. We've seen an A, a B, and a mid push now from Skitlight. Really just mixing it up. We're going to go with Cetas this time again from Skitlight. I know we're following them, but re they really are the team to watch at the moment. Rage sitting back, waiting for Skitlight to come to them. And it's not happening at the moment. So look, right now we see a little bit of a. I'm going to say a split and pick because we do have those, the bomb and another player going to car park. However, the three players holding mid from that catwalk area as finally Bounty opens up the frags, bringing it to 4v4. Cetas on the push to B. I think they're just trying to disguise this B push. He can catch off these market players, and he does as he gets the frag onto 90. 90, recently picking up SMG, had gone from scope, and a great scope he was, so we're just going to see how that kind of transition works out for him as this game progresses. Still there, Ricker with another frag onto Ace. The A players, the A defense just shattered as Skitlight slowly make their way on. Scope from Shia trying to confirm that plant. He pushes with the Deagle. With the frag to bounty now all on Katana and Top Street. Not going to last long though as the SMGs just storm up towards him. And 4-1 and Skitlight looking incredibly strong. Yeah, and I must say, I just want to watch Cetas right now. He's showing you exactly how you play SMG. He does have a little bit of an ace bomb. Will he be going for it? It does seem as though he is. Let's see how they do now on this A push. I haven't seen it first hand. So let's see what goes down. We've got a little bit of a flash flying out. Seku kicks off, off into this round. But Katana finally landing a nade onto the SLG side. You can see Cetas here splitting off towards the house. Does get the frag taken away from him by his teammate of Aslan. He spots another top street. Can he dive round in time? Gets <gasps> caught on the wall but lands the frag. That could have been a bit awkward. But the bomb is down. You can still see that they do keep so many players still alive. So now they just have to defend the plant with 38 seconds on the board. And Ace, the only man standing. And not for long, Cetas. What a player. I am so impressed. It's unbelievable. Indeed, it really is them to watch. Still, though. Let's give Rage a chance. Going to go with a bounty this time. See how he's going to kind of make... I'm hoping for a counter push because that's really what Skitlight need. They have so much freedom to do whatever they want. They're dancing around market, dancing around catwalk, and there's really nothing from Rage to kind of stop that from happening. Still, though, scope exchange as we see once again that 4-4 quite early on in this round. Bounty holding B. Nice hip fire into Cetaz, trying to stop that. However, that's once again, that's Cetaz just holding, you know, holding the B, holding the rotate. As the, once again, the bomb hakes his way towards A, so Bounty's going to be pretty useless. As I'm going to go with the Katana, the AK holding A. It's kind of all alone. Rage haven't kind of twigged what's going on at the moment. Hoping to find the picks, though, is Shuya. And the banging in. Katana's really taking the spot. Really just unpredictable as the bomb seems to be rotating. As I'm not really actually. As I'm just waiting for that push from behind as he's slowly considering it as Ace gets the frag. As followed by Bounty. Great nade. Bounty threw that nade from B Arch. Just lobbed it with the arm of God and to land right on that car. So now Katana situation has just got that little bit easier to be mopped up by Ace to bring it to 5-2, second round of the board for Rage. So, so I know it's a bit early to call it, but Pansy, have we got a winner in your eyes? I, I can't deny the way individually SLG are playing. You know, the likes of Cetas truly dominating this already on 9-4 this early on. It's highly impressive, and if they can keep this up, 
then I don't think I can deny them anything. But we did see a bit of a change in that round. You saw Rage actually pick it up. What did they do so right? You know, you were obviously rather uh, enthralled into it. So do give me the rundown. Is what actually happened so differently? Was there anything that Rage did that was... You know, well, I think just twigging, they've or? kind of twigged what Skidlight are playing at. They kind of, you know, they realise that this CTAS, this one SMG to B, is just kind of an, almost a decoy, if anything. Yep. And so, if they really want to hold day, it's more about kind of stacking a market and stopping that A arch push, which, let's be honest, Secu and CTAS have both demonstrated their ability to do. And so, once again, it looks like Ra Rage are picking up the pieces of a very strong round. As it's all on to Secu now to finish this. He does have it within him, though. On dog, looking to and the AK spray not going to happen as he's well aware of this possible push from behind him. Who is it though? It's going to be Bounty, and Bounty's going to pick up the frag and rage a whole new team at the moment, bringing it back, kind of analyze what skill I've got up their sleeve and not letting it happen one bit. So let's see what the scopes could bring to the table. I'm going to go with Miles now for rage. Miles, quite a quite a strong player. I remember being quite surprised with him at Dublin. I believe that's when I first really clocked onto his presence. As he did open up nicely onto Shia. Shia did get there fast, but not fast enough. As Rage are on the roll again. Secu going down as well. Cetaz trying to fight back though, trying to open up market. Doesn't last for long though. Ace is there on dog. Riku looking to end him, but not gonna happen. Both Ace for Skitlight are on that catwalk area. And that can't go well as Rage just have to wait it out and wait how they do. Ace is sitting exactly the same position. Has a couple of tags from Riku, but nothing really going to happen as Katana mops it up and Rage just storming back, letting them know this game is by long gone from being over. Indeed, and this is the difference between a good team and a great team, the ability to adapt. And uh, let's see what Bounty's done to change it up so well. Because it does seem as though they've locked down the mid-market, they're getting the initial picks, and that is exactly what Rage needed. You know, as soon as they stop those SMGs just having that freedom, they're doing so well. It does seem we've got a bit of an A, so Bounty's going to be not needed as such. Let's flick across to Katana now. AK in hand in that flower area. Knight, he gets two. Can Katana chime in one for himself? Yes, he can, but Seku's pushed up here. He needs to be shut down before he can run wild. So he does pick up one, but gets swiftly dropped by Katana. Very quick round, and once again falling in favour of Rage. Yes, indeed. Rage really storming it. Now, let's go with 90 for Rage. See what he can bring to the table as he's kind of let Miles go first. Not really opting for the fast rush with a nice fail smoke from his teammates. And that's, the, that's some sort of incredible tactic that only Germans can think of as they smoke their own spawn. They'd come out from 90 late onto Catwalk Home to find one of Market Stairs. He does. Shia catches that unbelievably well timed <laughs> there. As He's going to come around against the frag. Oh, dearie me. Uh, did we just see an impact kill? We did. What? Where? What? Why? How? When? What? I don't know how that would happen, but wow. it did. Okay, so we'll move swiftly on as Miles rattles in with a scope kill onto, sh onto that market player with Seku as Katana holding his hand as well to mop around his bounty. 5-6 and Rage have just absolutely slapped Skitlight in the face for thinking that they had this in the bag. And now looking to extend it to 7-5. Indeed. Let's follow Knighty here. He's been doing so well for the Rage side. The SMG to hand. Can he do it again? And we're doing an aggressive A push. As we do see SLG not really dedicating themselves to either side as of yet. It does seem to be a bit of a B, which will now let Knighty hopefully take this away. But Bounty will be coming into a world of trouble, surely. But not as of yet, as they haven't quite made their mind up. But Shuya does finally pick the frag up on Katana. It does uh, start this rather slow round off. So you can see 90 push around the back. It does come into a bit of trouble. As you can see, SLG have slowed down their play. They're not so raring to go. So let's see what Bounty can do. Pushing out gets aggressive. Drops Cetaz, the danger man currently for SLG. Can he get another? No, he can't. Ashuya jumps up on the ledge. Drops him out of this. Now the B push has to happen. And there's Lamb Bomb to hand. Going in for the plant. Drops the smoke and... Maybe that BRH player might be able to spot him. Who is waiting at BRH? It's Ace. Two players in front of him. Make it three. Ho <laughs> Make it one as Miles and Knight pick up one each. Now Riku has to go huge. Oh, Can't do days. so. Ace closes that down. This is I a very I would be absolutely range. furious. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, as, as a, if I was a skill like player right there, I would be shouting down comms there right now. Just asking what went wrong. We had three bodies to one yep. on B. And it ended up with us losing that round. I would genuinely be asking for a big analysis of that. Because that should not happen. Not once. No, you're spot on there. You've got to be careful of those keeping the advantage. They played so slowly. So, you know, a team like Rage will know where they're going by that point, And they've got to play it perfectly and set up the crossfires and sit there and hold it. So why don't you take us into the first round of the second half? All right, then. Let's see what we can bring to the table in the form of Seku. Seku, big fan. You know, lots of people do like to see him play. Uh, some, something quite special about the way he plays with the SMG class. As once again he gets that nade this time towards White Van as opposed to the red car. Really focusing on B with his nades despite being quite an A pusher. 
as we do see him once again holding B laundry. Only one player ready to find that he is in the f in wooden. Let's see who that is and just how this is going to go down. It is Nighty. Nighty retreating though back towards Catwalk. This looks to be almost a complete mirror of what we had. We saw uh, Skitlight doing. We've kind of seen a split. Bomb orientated around A. Scope trying to get the picks on A. And once again, Miles, what was Shuya, is now Miles. And getting that frag on what was Katana and now Rico. Really is a complete mirror image. And let's see if this works. But no, Cita's not going to make it as easy as it was. As he pushes out towards A. Arch, not going to get the second. There was 90s there. And now we see a 3v2. Skew and Aslan remain. Looking to land the Deagle is Miles. Not going to succeed though as the bomb does get planted. Nice. Katana holding that, making that risk. Well, they're taking it. As opposed to making it, that would be kind of strange. As now it's all on Seku. Seku heavily tagged, two players to find. And 34 seconds to do it. He's well aware of that possibility of a player up in that spawn house. He's actually coming behind him. Oh, he switches that weapon. That weapon just came out in an instant. As 8 5 on the board, Rage just storming through this at the moment. Yeah, and I've got to see what they're going to do again. So they went for that mid kind of split, really putting the market under pressure. So let's see what they're going to do again. Let's follow Katana here. So did do really well last time, pushed up the, uh, the opposing catwalk and got the frag onto the scope. So let's see what he's doing. Does seem to be another bit of a mid push, but Shuya kicking us off with the frag to the good, but not for long as Miles will reply for one for himself. So four on four. But Katana cutting straight through mid with two players just to his right. Can he pick it up? Yes, he can on Cetaz. But there's another. Please peek to the right cautiously because he's going to be waiting for you. Katana, you need this frag to make all the difference today. Here comes <gasps> the peek and he will get it. What a bit of timing from him. Incredible. And now Aslan Explosives is in a bit planted. of a situation. With three players to find and the bomb down. Spray already coming out from that A area, <laughs> and he doesn't even have an inch to walk in as Katana will shut him down. Nine to five, Rage truly stepping up to the plate. I really, I have to appreciate it, because I mean, I'm a big believer in kind of, you know, the whole uh, getting pumped, the whole kind of uh, encouragement kind of mm -hmm. aspect of this game. And really, Rage, because I mean, a team that see themselves going 5-1 down cannot be easy to step back up and bring it back to 9-5 in your favour, and they've done it again. And it's constantly just, uh, it shows, you know, real aspects of a team within these guys. Nighty did actually get a plus 10 nade, though quickly outshone by Shuya, Riku, and Seku with a double to bring it all on Katana's shoulders. Katana is in A, though. Not sure whether his presence is quite known. It is, as Riku's just waiting for him, and finally a skill like round on the board. And maybe a little bit of a warning shot from Skitlight like, trying to bring this back. And it's all about encouragement, just like I was saying. Let's see what Cetaz can bring. So, as you said, Cetaz going for that aggressive A push, which did do well, you know, rather well last time. Can he capitalise on it again? <gasps> the players from Rage sitting back cautiously. Not only, and again, Nighty! Do you like your plus 10s today by any chance? Because you do seem to be getting the hell of a lot. And Seku getting one for himself. Nighty with another. Nighty is absolutely on a mission today, folks. Can he pick up another? No, he can't. As Katana will slide in there and get the frag on Cetaz. Now, one player remaining. Yeah, my who is this player? And it's a player of Riku, but he's not for long. As Ace will shut him down with a lovely little late nade landing onto his face. We do you have a timeout, I believe? Yeah, I think this is definitely a tactical timeout. Skit like, do need yes. it. Underst yeah, understandable. And now this is where Rage are going to do their very best to aggravate Skit like. They know that they've got under <laughs> their skin. And you'll see these binds coming out. You'll see these comments coming out. And it's just, it's all, it's all a mind game, Call of Duty. Mm. Very much so. You know, so many teams are confidence-based these days. It, it, you know, it takes a very good team to be able to pick themselves up from such a round deficit and come back so strongly. So now, you know, obviously the, the shoe is on the other foot. Now Skitlight have to do the exact same thing. They've got to find it in the depths of themselves to truly pull this back. But do you think they're capable of it? <sighs> well, I don't understand because I don't feel, personally, I don't feel we saw a complete, a, an, an entirely different Skitlight in the rounds where they won and where they lost. So, in my opinion, it's all on Rage and the way they were playing. So, if Rage continue the way playing the way they do, I think it's more than likely it's going to go their way. Yeah, we definitely cannot deny Rage and how they're playing right now because individually and as a collective, they're being unstoppable. And you know, as a caster, it's appreciated. You know, it's it's so nice to see a little bit of indiv individual brilliance, but yeah. it's even nice to see people actually working as a collective team. You know, a very few people are that capable of doing it. We saw such a difference between. You know, when FM played Aces, Fragmasters closed out every single round by being, you know, so good as a team. Every, you know, there were so many clutches lost by Aces just because they were on point. And you can see that with Rage at the moment. You know, when they have to, there's such cohesion, it's unreal. But then again, I say that, there's such great individual talent within the SLG side. 
that as someone who enjoys you know special moments where they pick up a three you know or a four man, I can't deny them at all. Seat has truly impressed me with the way he's been playing. He's been a little bit quiet on this half, but yeah, you you're know, not wrong. Yeah, he, you know, on the other half, he literally looked like a man on a mission. He he'd dive through mid, pick up two frags, pick up three frags. Whatever he saw in front of him, he'd get. And uh, so we are just waiting on a couple of players to ready up now. Uh, mostly from the rage camp, surprisingly. Well, let's let's see, you know, well. how our opinions contrast with those watching. So those of you in chat, do let us know. Put it down in chat what your uh, what you're expecting the outcome to be. I see a couple already. We've seen a lot of people saying 13, 10, 13, 8. Mm -hmm. A lot of people really backing the Germans at the moment. People c accusing Katana of cheating. Obviously, you know, that's been there <laughs> since 2000. Oh, 2000. God knows. Everyone thought yeah. this guy's been cheating. He continues to play, continues to show up and do damage. So we're just going to go with that for now. Been on the last couple of rage players to ready up. Two minutes on the clock, so I'm not sure they can't really use the other players' timeouts. I'm sure Miles is going to ready up any second now, and we're going to be back underway. So, what really just do uh, skill I need to bring to the table on defense? Oh, it's a defensive team. Does you're, it need to be? Do they rage. need to be aggressive, like kind of counter aggressive, or was it more kind of sitting in, waiting for them to come to them? Well, it depends how you know rage been playing. And to of my course. knowledge, so far they've been doing quite a similar play that SLG did. Um, so, if they sit back and play smart and hold the pushes and lock down market, they should be okay. You know, I, okay, if I was SRG, I'd just make sure I pick up the rounds that really matter. Sit back and be cautious. Don't overdo things. Being aggressive doesn't always work because you let people through. As Katana's been pushing mid the whole time, he can do exactly that. And let's see what Cetaz is up to as he is diving through mid now. This much to hand. But Rick's taking us away with the frag. I didn't see who that was on to, but it was a nade, and that was brilliant. So we do see a little bit of a slow mid-push from the Rage guys, but uh, 90 going down to the SMG work of Cetaz. And now, finally, SLG look like they've got their uh, second wind. They picked up a couple of frags, and they do have the advantage. So oh. the defensive side, and Cetaz, what a frag! Shuya picks up one for himself, and now Miles is in a world of trouble. Scope and bomb to hand, so he's got the possibility. Can he land the frag on the scope? No, he can't, as he gets tagged up for his troubles, but doesn't drop down. Drops a nade out to mid. Four players alive and raring to go. So let's see, he does seem a bit more preferable to this B site. Can he get the pick he needs? He's going to assume there's going to be one there. He spots him at the top street. Can he land the frag? No, he can't. Dives the deagle. Grabs it out. And still, he's got to make his way up here. As the other players from SLG will be rotating right now. So here we go with this one just to his left. One to the right. Oh, he is to be behind. He is in such situation. a troubled situation. Oh, 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 wow. Aslan picks up the frag. And that's not where you want to be at the end of a round. <laughs> I mean, with a shout castle, you can just see all these red dots just gathering around his body. <laughs> As he lies by a car, you knew things weren't going to go well. But yeah, you're right. I mean, Skit like really did lock that round down. Definitely, I think Cetaz playing a big part in that. Just by holding market, this map is so vital to hold mid. Mid could be a pathway to A and B in, a ma in literally five seconds to either bomb sign. So this is all on Cetaz. Cetaz once again getting that frag into market and allowing him to push up towards that catwalk, putting that pressure on, almost forcing them to A. That's exactly what we're seeing here as Rage up literally spoon fed. The A push and the skill light are ready for it. Shia just playing it cool on that planter, looking to get the frag though. It's Aslan in mark. It's going to be Cetaz to pick it up onto Miles. And now Ace does have the bomb in hand, but four players looking for his blood and his location is more than compromised. Shia though looking to pick up the frag. Exchange of fire. Scope VAK at the moment as Ace gets a smoke out and almost a last ditch effort to get out of this car park area. And really, skill light are not taking any chances. Look at these positions. Really, the only player searching for him is Shia as he does just miss that frag as Ace commences his rotate. Meet him though is Seku. Seku taking his AK, not taking any chances and surely going to get the frag. He does. Oh, taking a bit, taking his chances with that aim though. As we see, it's 10-8. Now, I don't know whether this timeout has really helped them, but it, it's given them something. Because now there's been two rounds, is it, in back-to-back uh, -back that they've just picked up out of nowhere. And it does seem like a different side. They seem disciplined. They seem, you know, completely ready to go. And I say that, and Rage have just taken two frags away from him. So Aslan and Seku down and out. Can there be a reply? Yes, they can. And Cetaz takes that for Red Red Rag to a bull. And drops one of, his, uh, one of the opposing teammates. Ricks gets another onto Bounty. And this is looking a bit close for once. Can SLG get the frags that matter? Three players to find. Oh, Rick is in a bit of an awkward situation, surrounded by them. Bomb down. Does pick the first, doesn't get the second. Miles with a lovely shot. But Shuya with a quick reply onto Miles. I didn't even see Miles. Oh, he just shot him through the white van. There was no window involved. Wow. That was pure white van. Wow. Incredible. 
Maybe I've been missing out on a cheeky little wallbang <laughs> all these years. Who knows? Bashuna now has one player to find, and that is Ace. And he's hunkered down in this clothing area. Will it be a <gasps> bit of time in the point there? And Shuria! Yeah. Wow. Picks up the frag. What a, well, I, I believe SLG had the disadvantage in that round. Was it three on to two? Yes, indeed. Well, they worked together. Lovely. Riku obviously said, you know, I've got this B out side. You hold laundry. And obviously, after getting that frag, he just died a happy death knowing Shuya had the round in the bag. <laughs> Still, I'm just going to go ahead and look at Ace. That's it. I, I, I could be wrong. No, Ace is actually an AK. Moving on. Let's go with Katana then. Katana, SMG. Him and Bounty are going to be making their way towards B this round. Shia, first blood once again onto Miles. Not going to be happy with that. As Miles is constantly losing the scope battle at the moment. Still though, Bounty going down to Shia as well. Causing a lot of damage at the moment. Oh, and a lot of damage he continues to cause. Nighty going down as well. Shia, that's three frags already. Courtesy of him. As finally Ace ends that spray short. As we see a 4v2 advantage, well and firmly in the hands of Skitlight. And now Seku pushing around to this Zed pusher. Who is that? Seku's in a great position to meet up with Ace. Ace on Zed. And Sikta's in spawn. Kana in market. Ace gets the frag to Seku though. That shouldn't have gone his way. And now the rotate occurs. Aslan trying to put some damage onto that B car, but not going to happen. Katana gets the frag and suddenly the bomb goes down and Rage has just pulled this round back from the brink. Oh, finally Aslan causing some damage to Rage after such a des desperate cause. As uh, C-Taz gets a frag onto Katana to mop it up, and that, sh that was a little bit too close for comfort for Skitlight. Yeah, they did uh, let it go to the wire, and they need these rounds. You know, even just from a confidence point of view, you don't want to drop one. You want to keep that momentum going. You want to take it right into the faces of the German Rage side. So let's see what Rage can do in reply. Bounty with a decent spawn here. Will he go for a mid or a B push? Who knows? Let's find out. So uh, a little bit of a... Cautious start, don't get me wrong, they seem they seem very against pushing anywhere. They want to find out what SLG are up to. How can they do so with a bit of a B push coming up? But there goes the first frag onto Katana, dropping bounties. Fellow SMG mate, can we get a reply? No, he can't as Aslan will pick up one for himself onto 90. This is looking a bit like an SLG round. But maybe I spoke too soon as Mars picks up the frag on Shuya. We've got a bit of an A push coming out here. So switching across to Ace with the bomb to hand. There's three men to f four men to find, I say. Can they get it on the site? Drops the smoke out. Bounty looks around a little bit closely to make sure there's not anyone too close. So switch around to Bounty. He's got to defend him from this arch area. And here comes the spam as Cetaz picks up the frag onto Ace. But the bomb is going down. Is he <gasps> going for a full plant? Yes, he is. But Cetaz takes that for no for an answer and picks up the frag from full smoke. Incredible. Now Miles is in a very sticky situation. Three men to find in a very short amount of time. Picks up the first onto Cetaz. Can he get the other two? Seku and Aslan to find. And the bomb without the bomb being down. He's got a lot of work to do. One to his left. He knows he's around this area, but can he land the frag? No, he can't as Alan peeks over the little bit of the corner there and drops him down and out. And now, SLG have the advantage. Yeah, and I mean, I am really impressed with Cetaz. Cetaz is just so confident. Someone said it in chat earlier. He really has absolutely no question in you know, what he's going to do, how he's going to do it. And it really shows. Still, though, going to go with Katana. See if we can get a little different insight into an SMG. Not going to happen, though, if he doesn't look up to his right. Cetaz is already on Catwalk. Just decimating Rage as they all bundle back into spawn. All because of one player. His nade gets the frag onto Miles. Coming into Death Alley. Going to lag and go down. He's not happy with that. As... Suddenly a 4v3 and the Cetaz has really impressive stuff from him. As I think players from a bit of lag, whether that's kind of server wide or just them. The as the bomb is on catwalk. Maybe he's making his way towards B to receive him though is Secu. Let's go with him, see what he can do. Surely gonna call that. He just spots three players on catwalk. SLG adapting accordingly. Bounty looking for that frag into laundry. Spots him, not gonna get take him down though. As Ace bringing his AK to the fight as Knighty and Riku exchange frags. Aslan caught in that fray as well. Still 3v2 Rage with a disadvantage, but they do have that bomb where their push is well and truly known about. Their rotate being caught off by Shuya. Surely Bounty's going to try and put the pressure on him, but Shuya is long gone into car park, playing it safe, going to hold A. In fact, Bounty's looking to receive him. This could go badly, and oh, great play from Shuya. Don't know why he's looking at A Arch, but he does so. He's just hunting now for Bounty's blood. Come behind him is Ace. This is definitely an A-rotate. If they can take down Shuya, the bomb could just go down. As Shuya gets the Deagle frag. Beautiful play from him. Bomb carrier down. And now Bounty pushed for time. Two players have rotated. And Skitlight have played this beautifully. There you go. 10-12. And this is one hell of a comeback. They call it an Anexus timeout. But this is a Skitlight timeout. If, any, if ever I've seen one. Pansy. 
they, they are truly making the names for themselves. So I've got to follow Cetaz here. He's top fragging by quite a way. 23 to 15. Incre absolutely incredible. So let's see what he's up to. He's holding that mid push, and there's going to be a player literally right in his face in a couple of seconds, and Bounty gets the better of him, kicking us in favour for Rage into this round. So what's going to happen now? We do see a bit of a mid push coming out here, but Seku in that Beyonce picks up the first one, Katana. Can he get another one? Because they need to stop this mid push, which is exactly what he did there. And he's just replying to exact things that they did, so they can adapt from their own mind. As Shuya picks up a fantastic frag onto Miles there, dropping him with the barrel with ease. So now, Rage on the back foot. So I speak too soon as Ace will drop a nade straight into Shuya's face, just for his uh, dead teammate. Just a little bit of revenge. So Ace with a bomb in hand towards that A site. There's three players that are going to be more than willing to stop him getting this bomb down. So here goes the smoke. Can Bounty and his fellow teammate stop the push? Knighty holding the A arch. The so players do converge on this site. Now the bomb is down. So there's a timer, and uh, I do believe it's SLG have to really step up. Knighty picks up the first onto Seku. Knighty with the second onto Aslan. Can he get the third? Spots him in there, and uh, Rix picks up hmm. that frag. Not ideal. I don't know why he peeked that, if I'm honest. He just has to sit back and relax. So Rix has two players to find, tagged up, and they're in the worst of places for him. He can't even peek out to his left. Because this is not great for him. Dives out with a little bit of gusto. Can he pick up the frag that he desperately needs just to give him a chance? No, he can't. As Bounty will come around from behind. And Rage stepping up when it matters. Wow. Are we going to see an overtime? Is that what's going to happen? I really, really hope so. Because this both teams really do deserve it. We saw a great comeback from Rage earlier on. And see it like after a timeout, they brought it back. And now this really is a good game to watch. Feast our eyes on as Cetaz once again pushing aggressive. Let's go with him as he's going to... Oh, that nade looks perfectly timed. Going to cause some damage on Catwalk. Is he? Oh, just because of Katana's frag, that doesn't seem to come about. Now Seku holding market. Not really much market play has been going on, though, from Rage. As we see another car park push, kind of looking for those picks. And if we look at skill eyes positioning, there really is no chance of a pick going on. Maybe a wallbang could land onto Rico, but that's about it. As he just holds that cross to, to that corner. He's coming out, maybe a smoke or two, but nothing really. This is a real slow round. Both teams well aware of the importance of it. Get like battling for the win. Rage though, the pressure of getting that bomb down could just be a little bit too much. They're the ones that have to cause the aggression. And that's what Skill I are hoping for. 49 seconds, clock slowly turning against them. Katana, the only real man with the aggression at the moment, but getting his smoke out, trying to cause some Skill Light players to peak, and Skill Light are well aware of the danger of doing so. As Katana pushes up towards that A-house, finally gets spotted. Rico playing it well, but not well enough. Great play from Katana. Shuya returns, though, as it becomes a 3v3 time not on Rage's side. If they get this bomb down, the Flash surely going to stop him. Ace holding that plant. He's going to get it down. Wow. wow. As Seki and Shuya do pick up the frags, though, maybe turning it against them. But Rage now suddenly advantages in their hands. And Shuya's going to have to really do some magic with this scope to open up car park. Just missed the first shot onto Miles. Seku needs to do something fast. And he really, really does not have time for all his corner checking. It's going to go down to Ace. Ace played it brilliantly. Miles gets the frag as well. And wow! Simply incredible. Wow! 12 12. I think we're going to have to go into overtime. And that certainly is going to be a brilliant ending to a brilliant game. Yeah, at the start of this game, I thought SLG wouldn't be able to be touched. And then Rage pulled it back from absolutely out of nowhere. And then so does SLG, it's going back and forward. Both teams truly have to step up when it matters. So let's, uh, who do you think is going to really bring it in the uh, overtime? Is it, is it MR3? So you can't mess up at all. There won't be room for them to have those timeouts and have a think. You've got to do it there and then. You've got to show up and be 100%. You know, you can't be touchable. You've got to be absolutely on point. So, now, so are you suggesting there's a, a, a change in game style as it hits out over time then? Oh, or? very much so. I right. think teams always change. I think they're so scared to make the adaptions they necessarily need that they just kind of sit back and they play very defensively because it matters, because every single action and every little thing that happens from that action can change the outcome of a round. So everyone knows that it matters and a lot of peaks are missed and a lot of big plays are missed and it's very rare you see a player kind of overcoming that fear of messing up because if you feel as though, oh, I pushed a bit too much on this map, you think, ah, you know, that's my fault. You know, you, you take it very personally and you don't want to put your you know, teammates in that position. So for you personally, I'm going to say Rage because I'm a big fan of the way they're playing and I think overall they're the stronger team. But that's my personal opinion. Why don't you give me yours and as to why? <laughs> well, sorry, do you say Rage? You got your money on Rage. rage. Yeah, well, you know, 
I do, I do like the way Rage played. This kind of this A car park push was great to see. However, I do I'm just gonna just you know just for the the, the fun of it, I'm gonna say Skit like they're really there's there's nothing between these two teams. You can see that already that you're, both teams have it in them to win it. And it, right now it just comes down to you know Cetas obviously. I mean he is literally dominant dominant on that catwalk push and vice versa on the other side. So I think really it's gonna be a battle of SMGs, battle of scopes, and AK just trying to pick up the pieces of. Uh, these fast rounds, which both teams have been looking to start. Mm. And I, I, well, on that note, I think individually at the moment, SLG are just so strong. I don't think you can die any of their players. I think two of them were almost on a 30 bomb. I think there was it was 23 and 25 maybe, and I believe uh, Cetaz and Shuya were the players. I could be wrong. I've been Seku, but as as individuals, they've been insane. I, it's so rare you get to see an SMG be that dominant. You know, Cetas had quite a quiet period on defense, so I don't think he quite adapted to how Rage were playing. You know, when Rage switched it up a bit and they're doing well on A and they're using mid as they were, Cetas didn't have much of a reply. But then something happened and something twigged and he truly stepped up and took the game to them. You know, ending on a 23 bomb, that's, that is fairly impressive. I think it might even be more of that. But as a standout player for you, who do you think's really uh, taking the game to the other side? Well, that's a tough question. I mean, I think both teams have got their kind of their stronger players. I think at the moment, I've really been uh, been impressed with the way Shuya's been playing. Getting the frags he needs to, definitely, undeniably so. As finally we do see MR3 being going. There we go. <laughs> that's like the owner of the server just kind of uh, departed long before this... Uh, this time. So yeah, I'm going to say Shuya if I had to just say one. However, if I had to go for two, I'd go for 90 as well because 90, really yeah. great SMG play. He was top, he's up at the top of the scoreboard as well, but the frags he was getting were vital as well. So that's my either side. What about you? I, I think I'm going to have to say 90 um, yeah? for Rage, obviously. I think he's been doing so well. He okay. really did. As you said, he got the pivotal frags. The ones that really mattered, he just picked up. When they're doing the mid pushes, he'd stop it. You know, when they were trying the mid push those initial picks and then close out the rounds. You know, he was doing exactly what he should be. And if the SLG side, I'm an SMG player, so I'm going to have to say Cetas, he worked it like magic. He, you know, he didn't put a, put a foot out of line for half the time. He was so perfect the way he played. You know, he, he'd secure the bomb site, he'd get the opening frags. He'd be confident as anything running through market. And it takes a lot to get past the way Rage play. They've got great mid nades. They, you know, they do have the rounds, especially on defense. They're not afraid to get in your face. You know, they smoke up mid and they'll push up there. So, to be an SMG against these, it does take a lot of confidence and a lot of talent, which he is exactly showing right now. But uh, who do you think needs to step up late then? We go for well, the uh, I think that's quite an easy answer for me. I really do think. We haven't seen much in the form of Vanzalan. <coughs> Obviously, mm -hmm. no, he's a he's he's a good player, good guy, and I don't yeah. think there's there's really any reason to doubt him as a player. But I do feel that in this game, as an individual, he hasn't really performed. Yeah, the, the, sometimes the way people play do does really lock you out of the game. But there's adaptions you should make to try and get. His oh, I couldn't agree more. I mean, I mean, you'll find yourself. It's just maybe it's just something they're doing is such an anti anti you, you know, whatever you're supposed to be doing, they're doing <laughs> yeah. something to stop it and it can get so irritating as an individual, definitely. Yeah, so hopefully he doesn't let the you know, morale side of it drop and let's make sure we have a which ready Yeah, friendly. which we've already said is a v massive part of COD4. I think, yeah. uh, well, all all esports, I think there's definitely an aspect of that, but I do feel something, that, something about the, maybe the community or the way the game's played, you know, it, how you're feeling and how, you know, you feel that the game is going can change so much about your play. Oh, very much so. It you know it it can truly change you as a complete player. You see, mm. I don't know the likes of Raz, for example, who is always cheerful. You'll never see him being miserable. Oh. It's incredible. You know, we I, I believe I played them at Epic Eight in a, in a little mix, uh, and I don't think I saw him stop smiling. He was losing to absolute idiots like myself, but he he was still cheerful. And to have that attitude is, that is great good, with yeah. the team. And, it, and it's key. You, do you get need down. it. It's key, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. I mean, if you yeah. want to have. Because to build a team, you can't win everything, and so getting through those losses is what makes a team. And if you've got players like Raz or you know, in this case, I think Skit like definitely, definitely, you know, they had their ups and downs, but they really brought it back in that timeout, and it's good to see. Indeed. So, guys, if you are watching, do make sure you subscribe to the channel. And there is a little bit of a Facebook and a Twitter and all that going around, so do have a little look into that. So we are in MR3 now. So everything matters. There's three rounds to win, and then the sides switch. So why don't you take us into the first round, machine? Okay, machine seems to have gone quiet, so uh, uh -huh. I'll dive in. Hello, dear. Right, go on. You, you chime in. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Um, so yeah, we've got Skillite just falling on their knees at the moment. Two players left already. 
this early on in the round. He's got plenty of time for slow and steady bring back. We've got Shu and Aslan left to clutch. I can't say this is likely. Then wow. again, Aslan, great play on to 90. Wouldn't have seen that myself. As he does get tagged by, I believe that's uh, Miles with the scope. Looking to escape this car park now does so. As he's got to get that bomb to his compadre. As he's not going to really expect this push on his left. He's going to check that door if he wants this round to go his way. He's not going to check it. He is, but not in time. Bounty gets the frag. Looking for the second now with that hit fire. Not going to happen as Rico does get that. And now he is trapped on those stairs. Going to get taken down by Katana. And first round of this overtime into the German's hands. Yeah, I'm going to have to see 90 now because he was so good before. He's picked up a frank this, you know, in the first round, but let's see what he's doing. Let's see if he changes how he's playing. You know, he was very good at pushing that A site, going through mid. Is he still confident? That is the question to me. So it does seem as though he is. He's diving straight up through mid here. This could be insane. Bit of a smoke out there to cover himself by Aslan, taking that as a bit of an insult. Drops him down with the AK. And now finally, SLG do have the advantage. Can they keep it? Because they do seem to be going for a bit of a B push here. But Bounty at that B site, taking that as a bit of another insult. But uh, we are finally seeing SLG working a site rather well. They've made the way onto B. They do have the advantage, but not for long. As Bounty is definitely not taking no for an answer. Z is left there with Katana in tow. And now they are truly picking up the frags where it matters, but it is a 2 on 2. Bounty and Katana against Rico and Aslan. Can Aslan step up now, as we said? Moments like this are exactly where you need to, you know, up your game. Can he do just that? So with Bomb in hand, he's darting around to A. The rotates come in. He doesn't want to just go in there just as he yet. Drops out of smoke. I think that's going to go into the flower house just to cover the windows a touch, as it does. And now he might have a chance to get this bomb down and causing that player up there to rotate, hopefully into that little weed area where your teammate might be watching, but your teammate's not watching it. But you do get the bomb down. No, you don't, as Bounty. Within the nick of time, I tell a lie, he did get the bomb down, but uh, about to just, you know. <laughs> just by an inch. And now is it Rico left alive? Let's it see is, where yeah. he's at. And he's in market with that SMG to hand. Can he defend this with 30 seconds on the board? Ooh, and two players now me. spamming away. Gets the first one, Katana. Can he get oh, the second? Yes, he can! Sausage oh rolls. my word. Sausage rolls indeed. What a round from the player. Truly going huge when it matters. And that's that what was. you wanted to see from Aslan, wow. but we got it from one of them. I, just, I, just, I thought that round was over. I thought the spray coming in, the red yep. barrel on fire, that was not going to go his way. But really good to see I was wrong. Although that's 1-1, one, one. let's see what Skitlight can bring to the table now as Nighty is going to be the first to bring up the frag. This time onto Rico in market. Bounty though on the push for Rage. In round Z, looking to take out that wooden player as Ace gets another frag. Skitlight once again chuddering under this Rage defense. Ace getting his flash onto Catwalk to slow down any sort of considered push as Bounty gets another. Oh, and Katana as well. Literally, Skitlight just falling on this kind of petty A push. Really, no sort of aggression involved. And if I mean, I think every time Skitlight's A push has worked, it's been due to the SMGs in market rather than those players in Catwalk in uh, Cow Park. Sorry, and no, you're absolutely up that. right. Yeah, if if we don't get that aggressive play with those initial you know picks falling in the way of SLG, then there's no hope for them. They they just seem to have to have that little bit of um gusto to their play, otherwise it goes nowhere. So now we are switching sides and uh, we will have SLG on the defensive half and I believe it's Rage on the attacking side. So looking back, you know, we saw SLG make a true change to how they played and pull back rounds from the absolute brink on these very, you know, this very format. We had you know, Rage on attack and SLG on defense. But maybe, just maybe Rage are, you know, a little bit wise to that now and they're, they, you know, they're a bit bored of uh, having to toy with SLG. So let's see what they can do now. Bounty leading the way for Rage, so I'm going to have to follow him and see where he's going. Maybe we could see the infamous A push coming out. He does have the spawn for it, but he's not looking that way. It seems a bit of a mid to B. The bomb is going towards A, so we've got to be careful. Maybe it's with the scope. I assume it is. So Bounty going for a bit of a B push here. Waiting on the nades. No one falling as of yet. You've got to be cautious. Here we go. Leaves the alley, but the spam's coming out from the scope. And he will be faced with the player rather soon, but 90 taking us way into this round with the AK work onto Shuya. Can they get the frags they desperately need in this B site? Nade coming out towards there, but 90 again with the headshot onto Aslan. Can he pick up another? No, he can't as he's shut down by Seku. But now his teammates know where that last remaining player on B is. So they can work that side together. Bounty, still cautious, but he knows he has to hold this to get the bomb down. Oof. Here we go, Katana from the rear. Takes him down, that's a terrible terminology, but <laughs> switching over to Katana. Does finally get pushed by C. Shuts him out, 
And now two players remain for SLG. Make that a two on two now as this is looking almost possible for SLG. But with a bit of a time limit, 35 seconds remaining. Bounty and Miles to find. And Shu Asitas on the case. Two of our favourite players from the side. And now this could be a world of trouble. Asitas dives out and Bounty's oh, there no. and waiting. And now Riku, Riku even, has to manage to pick up two frags by his lonesome fire. Comes in from top three, does get the tag, does manage to land the frag. Does spot Bounty, can he get this? He desperately needs it in a quick amount of time. There we go, 14 seconds on the board. He's got to get this frag and get the bomb down in absolutely no time. And I think he's left it almost too late as he's oh going dear. for the full. But uh, Miles just has to walk down and do just that. Three to one, Rage truly stepping up now. And this is where, I mean, we're talking about morale. Skidlights is going to be at an all-time low right now. Knowing that all of this, you know, all their hard work hangs in the balance of one round. And it can't be fun. Really not going to be fun. Let's go with Seku then and see how he plays this defense. Gets his nade and flash out, trying to slow down at any sort of considered B pushes. Actually, the B pushes. Oh, great wow. reactions. Really, Katana should have picked up that frag, but Seku just that little bit too strong. As... Spit like gonna hold down this market. Well you'd hope so. And every player really casting his eyes to market is in fact No one. Oh C Taz is there actually. Gonna get the SMG tags, but not the frag. As Seku gets a second. Bounty charming him with one of his own. As Seku gets a third. This round is becoming his own. As now Miles and Ace anxiously wait for their turn to fall. Bomb in the hands of Ace though on that catwalk, waiting for Seku to peek. Gonna peek towards Zed, expecting a player to be there. Nothing gonna happen though and I am running out of breath what is wrong with me maybe I should probably st stop to breathe at some point it might help uh, yes indeed okay so let's go with Aslan then as he's actually the only player really considering to do anything for Skitlight and still nothing's gonna happen as we do see Rage have eventually worked their way onto A and I think Skitlight have finally twigged this Rico, Rico is just waiting for him as he's going to get caught off guard with the presence of Ace. However, that does mean his presence is known. And with 28 seconds, surely not going to happen. No, indeed. Seku confirms a great round from him. As he's just picked up, I think that was four frags that round. As we do see 3-2. Yeah. And now Skitlight fighting to stay in this competition. And this is the round they desperately have to get. They cannot let Rage take this. Otherwise, it is GG. So let's follow Katana here. SMG to hand. Very, very confident through mid. Spots a player there. Can he drop him? Yes, he, does. Yes, he can. Cita's down and out. The danger man for SLG previously. Can he keep this pace up? Yes, he can with another frag onto Shuya. Katana truly cutting through mid. Is he going to get the deagle? Gets the tag, but not the frag. As now Rage converge on this B site. And here's a bit of a kerfuffle down the end of the street, but that's not much trouble for Miles as he picks up two frags. Seku and Aslan down and out. And now I believe the last man standing for SLG to stay in this is Rico. Picks up the first onto Nighty. Dives around the corner. Three to find. Oh, here we go. This could be possible if he lands this frag. That wouldn't be just average, but oh. he cannot do so. Gotana on an absolute mission that round. Clenching the victory for Rage and uh, very well played to them. Yes, indeed. And that was really good to watch. I'm quite...